So without further ado, I present Jake Quiz in se- season two. No, scene two. No. I can still recall our last summer. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Today, we're going to be discussing Jake Weezer's first monologue from Act 2, Scene 7 of As You Like It. Now, what strikes me about Jake Weezer as a character is that he loves to be the centre of attention. He constantly is like, this is my moment. This is my time to shine. He speaks almost entirely in monologues, whether he's happy or sad. He's got a monologue prepared. You know he's got one. And with this scene, this is the only time that Jaquees seems to be somewhat happy. He's excited about the fool that he's met in the woods. He keeps going on about his motley that he's wearing. We know that Jaquees wants to be a fool. He wants to wear that motley. He's very jealous of the motley. And he's just reminiscing about the, the fool that he's just met in the woods. And he wants to tell his buddies about it. Now, much like Malvolio in Shakespeare's other smash hit, Twelfth Night, Jaquees is not actually the main fool of the play. This is actually Touchstone, and in Twelfth Night, it's actually Feste. Now, you see, this brand of character, this secondary fool, were actually designed to mock the Puritans of Shakespeare's time, that thought theatre should be illegal. Now, Jaquees is a very melancholy bloke, much like Eeyore from the Christopher Robin cinematic universe. He's very sad and he's very realistic about the world. And for some reason, he thinks that this will make him a good fool. He actually wants to be a fool. He wants to be a jester in somebody's court. That's his dream job. So, Jake Weez is a bit of, bit of a mystery. And another absolutely cracking thing about this monologue, in terms of being a comedic actor, is the opportunities it presents to use props and to do a bit of um pretending to be somebody else that you're having a conversation with, because that's really funny. So without further ado, I present Jaquees, Act 2, Scene 7 of As You Like It. A fool! A fool! I met a fool in the forest. A motley fool. A miserable world. As I do live by food, I met a fool who laid him down and basked him in the sun and railed on Lady Fortune in good terms, in good set terms, and yet a motley fool. Good morrow, fool, quoth I. No, sir, quoth he. Call me not fool till heaven hath sent me fortune. And then he drew a dial from his poke. And looking on it with a very lacklustre eye, says, very wisely, It is ten o'clock. Thus we may see, quoth he, how the world wags. Well, tis but an hour ago since it was nine. And after one hour more, twill be eleven. And so, from hour to hour, we ripe and ripe. And from hour to hour, we rot and rot. And thereby hangs a tale. Oh, when I did hear the motley fool thus moral on the time, my lungs began to crow like a chanticleer that fools should be so deep contemplative. And I did laugh, sans intermission, an hour by his dial. <laughs> oh, noble fool. A worthy fool. Motley's the only way. <laughs> 